Hey y'all, you're watching Porty's Garage. Getting a little bored with the front end of my 83 Fox here, so we're gonna spice things up with some fog lights. I'm going with the Hella 550 kit I got here off of Summit Racing, and let's dive in and see how it goes. We're gonna start with figuring out where exactly we wanna mount these. I've already played around and got the driver's side done, but looking around, what I found is there's a little spot where the crash bar peeks out behind the bumper cover. I don't want to put it on this. It's going to be too floppy moving in the wind, but this I'm going to get a real good strong hold to. So that's where we're going to be mounting these babies. I'm going to take the little mounting bracket that came in the kit and I'm just going to hold it up to where I want it to be. Kind of using this bumper cover as my dimensions and we're going to give her a little mark so we know where to drill. And for good measure, let's take a file here, clean her up a little bit. That way we're not getting snagged on anything. So the way this light is intended to go together is we've got our light bracket and it's held on by this bolt to the car, or whatever surface we're putting it on. And then this bracket will clip into the light housing and then you'll bolt it on here, right? Simple enough, but unfortunately for my application, this bolt is a little bit too short. So swung by the uh, part store, hardware store, grab this, got a little uh, spacer here. We're going to get to get us our height and we'll make it happen. But before we start doing anything like that, one thing we need to address the head on this bolt is a lot thicker than the head on the bolt supplied. So we're going to need to make a little modification. Now with the bolt all nice and ground down, we have the freedom to articulate. We can get this fog light dialed in right exactly where we want it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this whole assembly put together. That way when we're at the car, we can just slide this puppy right on. Got the washer. There we go. It'd be awesome if there's a better angle for me to get at this. But you know what? That's what you get for doing creative things. Oh, there we go. I just got it. Now let's get her tightened down. Got that uh, bolt we cut down is spinning around on me, so let's try and get her wedged in here. Oh, yeah. there we go. Woo, it's coming together. Look at that. I think I gotta do a little adjusting. Looks like the driver's side's pointed a little more down than the passenger side, but 
We'll get to that when I actually get to turn the lights on. For now, we gotta do some wiring. So Hello was kind enough to include some very detailed instructions, wiring, relays, fuses, just switching here somewhere. Well, it's getting dark and the mosquitoes are coming out. Still got a little wiring to clean up, but look at that. We've got lights. Adds a nice little touch of zest to the front of the car. I'm digging it. So here is a close up of how we're mounted. We've got our stock bracket, our nylon spacer, a washer, and then we go up and we're just basically screwed into the crash bar here. But it's a pretty close fit and we're not actually touching any of the plastic bumper. So that way we're not gonna get any rattling or damaging or anything. And then the wiring, we've got the blue, which is the ground. And I just grounded it up right on that crash bar. The black keeps going through. I got it tucked in so it's not wobbling around. They connect somewhere in here. And then it keeps on going around. Down through here, it is touching this uh, metal piece here. So I threw some loom on it. And then it's going to go up through the engine bay towards the battery. And it's pretty hard to see, but it is right here goes underneath the battery tray, underneath the end tank, and all the way up to the relay. So now I'll talk you through how the actual wiring's working. So right here, we've got our relay. I put it on the firewall. That seemed like a good enough spot for it. And here's what we're doing. So on the relay, we've got number 30, which is going to be the red wire right here. That is going from the relay, just down through here. We're gonna stop, hit a fuse, and then it keeps going down goes to the positive battery terminal. The blue wire, which is number 85 on the relay, also goes towards the battery, but before we hit the fuse, I've got it spliced in, then it becomes one line, travels with the red. That's the one that if you want to have it hooked to your driving lights, that's what you would do it. I just want this independently controlled, so it's gonna be always hot when I hit the switch. The black wire, which is number 87 on the relay, right there. That's just what goes down to the fog lights down up front. And very last, the yellow wire, which is number 86 on the relay, that is going into the switch inside of the cab of the car. I just ran it through and then poked it through uh, a grommet that was already there. And then on the inside of the car, I got my switch right here. I put it on this plastic centerpiece because that's actually removable. So if anything happens, I can get a new one. Um, basically, the yellow wire comes in through here, hooks to one side of the switch. The other side is just a ground. So I took that and grounded it right there, just on the side of the footwell. And that's how we get power. I did a little uh, SketchUp drawing of it. I'll throw on the screen. That way you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about instead of trying to follow my words through. Nothing professional, but you know, it's better than nothing. And since I'm already playing around with wiring in the footwell and I removed the stock amp, went ahead and repurposed the switch as fuel pump. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, maybe throw us a like and subscribe. And until then, 
See you next time.